echocardiogram in parasternal long axis view showing calcific aortic wall which domes in systole with restricted opening. The aortic orifice is quite narrow. Normally, wall leaflets will almost be invisible in systole as they will get opposed to the walls of the aortic sinuses of Valsalva. Diastolic frame in aortic stenosis from parasternal long axis view showing aortic valve in closed position and mitral valve in open position. The marker is indicating the anterior mitral leaflet. Dense calcification of aortic valve is evident. Color flow mapping from parasternal long axis view in aortic stenosis shows the domed aortic valve with narrow aortic orifice and a mosaic multicolored jet beyond the aortic valve indicating turbulent flow due to the stenosis. Note that left ventricular cavity is quite small in systole due to the hypertrophy. Still image from parasternal long axis view with color Doppler showing the AS jet beyond the domed and densely calcified aortic wall. Calcific aortic stenosis in parasternal short axis view showing three leaflets. Dense calcification is visible. Still image in parasternal short axis view in calcific aortic stenosis showing three leaflets in open position that is systolic frame. The markers show the leaflets. The commissure between the left and right coronary cusps appear fused and thickened. RVOT, right ventricular outflow tract, PA, pulmonary artery. Parasternal short axis view at the level of the aortic valve showing the aortic valve in closed position with significant thickening and calcification. The valve appears tri-leaflet rather than bicuspid. Epical five chamber view showing the thickened aortic valve. This is the usual view used for estimating transvalva gradients as the Doppler beam is parallel to the jet in this view. Another view used for estimating the gradient is the suprasternal view, especially when associated mitral regurgitation gets picked up by the Doppler beam giving a falsely high gradient from the apical five chamber view. Still frame from apical five chamber view showing four cardiac chambers and the aorta with calcified aortic valve. The inner ventricular septum can be seen thickened as part of the left ventricular hypertrophy. The upper panel shows color Doppler image and the Doppler line. The color bar at the top right shows the Nyquist limit of the color flow mapping system 60 cm per second in this case. The lower panel shows the tongue shaped envelope of valvar aortic stenosis. The peak velocity in this case is 2.97 m per second which corresponds to a gradient of 35.2 millimeters of mercury.